Police and experts at OHSU say incidents of gun violence in the Portland metro area have been increasing at an alarming rate. Well, now OHSU is stepping in to take what they call a public health approach to help reduce injuries and deaths from guns. Fox 12's Blaine Aguilar has the details for us. OHSU is developing a new department called the Gun Violence Prevention Research Center. Those involved include the Portland Police Bureau, trauma surgeons, and those who have had experience with gun violence in some way. And they believe that with more research and education, firearm injuries can be preventable. OHSU says in 2021, 670 gun-related deaths were reported in Oregon. Now OHSU is lending a hand. They've received federal funding and grants to develop the Gun Violence Prevention Research Center with Dr. Kathleen Carlson as the director. This is not a dichotomous gun rights versus gun control issue. This gets us nowhere. And OHSU is also putting other programs in place, including launching a gun violence review commission for Multnomah County. We're evaluating every single firearm injury that's treated in OHSU and legacy manuals um, trauma centers to understand um, the, the spectrum of those injuries. So not just gun violence, but also unintentional injuries that come in from our rural Oregon uh, communities, also um, suicide and self-harm. Dr. Mackenzie Cook says he treats people for gunshot on a weekly basis and is pushing a nationally run program called Stop the Bleed. What I need as a trauma surgeon is time. The faster that we can stop the bleeding, the faster the police can arrive and secure the scene, the faster EMS can get there, the faster that person can get to the hospital, the better chance we have to save their life. Portland police say they have a new program called Cease Fire. Portland's had about a three year span of the worst gun violence that's ever seen. The services piece is the police bureau connecting with community-based organizations working with the Office of Violence Prevention, identifying those individuals that are most at risk, highest risk of being involved in gun violence as a victim, or a suspect in the future. Roy Moore is the co-director for Healing Hurt People, run by the Portland Opportunities Industrialization Center. Around 2005, Moore was a victim of gun violence. I come from that lifestyle. Very proud that I'm no longer involved with it. Um, I know what it's like to be in that hospital bed. I had to lose lots of friends. I had to go through injuries, but I came out of it alive. Moore says having programs like POIC at the time would have made a difference, and now he wants to help others. To have somebody who looks like you, who comes from the community that you come from, who understands what you're going through, I think it's powerful. My job is to gain your trust so I can help you. Reporting in Southwest Portland, Paulina Aguilar, Fox 12 Oregon.